Movin is a brand new, real-time markerless motion capture system that seamlessly integrates with Unreal Engine. The entire system is powered by a single device that has a high-end LiDAR sensor and onboard AI hardware. In this video, I'm going to do a high-level overview of the features and give you my first impressions with using this system for a couple of weeks with Unreal Engine and, of course, MetaHumans. This video is sponsored by Movin, who provided the hardware, software, and a budget for me to work with the last couple of weeks to produce this video and learn how to use the system in Unreal Engine. So let's talk about the setup process. One of the major strengths of the Movin system is that it's really easy to set up and get recording quickly. In my studio, I've gone ahead and marked out a 2 meter by 2 meter area on the floor, and I've placed the Movin trace in camera about 3 meters from the center of that square. The camera does need to be level, and it needs to be 85 centimeters off the ground. Any sort of standard tripod that you would have for cameras that can have some sort of self-leveling mechanism is going to be absolutely perfect. Now that I've cleared up my space and I have the Move-In Tracing camera set up, we're going to connect it to the computer and get the room calibrated using their software called Move-In Studio. The camera connects to the PC, laptop, or desktop via Ethernet, and then you're going to just use the AC adapter to plug it in. There are no batteries or focusing or iris mechanisms on this camera. There's not a single button. You just plug it in via Ethernet and turn it on with the AC adapter. From there, you're going to launch Move-In Studio, their software that will guide you step by step through calibrating your volume. Now that sounds a little bit scarier than it is. There's basically two steps. The first is to look at the front and side view of a little LiDAR graph they're giving you that's basically a scan of your floor. And you're going to use these two arrows and up and down buttons to get the floor level in both views and get the lines in between these two guides here. After that, you're going to set what depth you want your volume to be. In my case, I have to clip the back wall because there's furniture back there. You're then going to clip the side and the front and get it so that that volume that you're defining is completely empty. No furniture, no walls, really nothing can be in there. In my space, I actually have some cables hanging from the ceiling, so I'm going to lower the ceiling as well. And now my volume is calibrated and we're going to hit next. To start tracking an actor, all you have to do is walk into the space and you see this cool kind of LiDAR 3D scan view of yourself as you walk in. You need to stand in the center as directed and hold a straight armed A pose like this for three seconds and the system is going to automatically calibrate to your height and figure out your different proportions just from this 3D scan. Now Movin is tracing you or is tracking you and you're ready to start capturing. Cool, so I'm gonna walk into the hotspot here and get calibrated and move in studio. And now I'm being tracked and we are gonna record a take. So there we go. Now we're rolling. And uh, what's cool is that the animation files are really small. So you can go for a really long time. Doesn't really matter. Just gonna do kind of a simple dance and jump here. And this will pretty much wrap it up for the animation here. So let's cut this. So I'm able to look at my recording right here. I'm still being tracked as well, but pretty sure that'll stop being uh, the case now. And this is that take inside of Move-In Studio. Plays back like you'd expect. And there are some different visualizations, like when it thinks you have foot contact, and you can look at the skeleton inside of it. So what I'm gonna do now is go to export and we're of course going to do FBX for Unreal. All of this is working and we're going to hit export and save that FBX and bring it back into Unreal Engine. The process of importing the animation and retargeting it to a mannequin or a metahuman is relatively simple in Unreal Engine 5.6 and if you're interested in that process, I have a video coming out showing this exact workflow from Movin to mannequin to metahuman, what that workflow looks like in detail. That is going to be a separate video coming out pretty soon. This is a clip that I made using this exact same process, recorded my body in Move-In Studio, imported it to Unreal Engine, did some retargeting, and I made an outfit especially for this project, especially for this project, that has some chaos cloth that adds a little bit, of, little bit of cool secondary motion. I'm pretty happy with how this came out, so check it out.
So next, let's talk about live streaming motion capture from Movin Studio to Unreal Engine. So first, you're going to need the Movin Live Link plugin. This is available to download and luckily compatible already with Unreal Engine 5.6. Additionally, in Unreal Engine, you're going to want to enable the Live Link plugin, Live Link Hub, and the brand new Performance Capture plugins. Go ahead, click those boxes, and restart Unreal Engine. With those plugins enabled, you can go to Live Link and simply add a new Movin source. OK, so now we're actually tracking inside of Movin Studio. However, we're not streaming yet. So the UI scaled really small, but I'm going to do my best. I think what I can do for now is make this a little bit bigger so I can read it. And we're going to go to live streaming. We're going to send hands. And we're going to make sure that this says Unreal and then hit Start. And you'll see that in Unreal Engine, we now have a subject. So the fastest way to do this is to go grab the Movin Skeletal Mesh which give me a minute, here it is. We're gonna drag this out here, and what we wanna do is add a new performer component. This is a brand new thing, and we're going to add our actor there. And you'll see that he's already started moving uh, to kind of match what's going on. So it's a little bit back and forth. We had to get Live Link running and then stream it from Movin Studio, but now finally, when I go and get calibrated in Movin Studio, this is gonna get streamed to Unreal Engine. And I am VTubing now, I'm live streaming mocap. And what's cool is if you notice in Unreal Engine, we're not even hitting simulate or play. This is happening directly in the editor. So at this point, we can now use Take Recorder or Mocap Manager, which takes a lot more setup than, than this, but you technically could. Or you could just start recording in OBS and we are live streaming the body right into Unreal Engine. Now, when I got this system, the first thing I wanted to do, of course, was a bit of performance capture with a MetaHuman. Performance capture is technically when you're doing face, sound, and body. Here's a clip from that. This is my progress with the live VTuber demo here. Then there, I even have the audio delay built in, so I think the sync with the face and possibly the body so, so far I haven't teleported yet, and now that I have this up and running, I'm gonna go put a confidence monitor right there. Um, if I get too far with this system, like back here is kind of sketchy, so it's good to play on this line here, which is like kind of close to my origin. Let's see if we can break things. Um, Movin does a pretty good job with the sit down, but how does the cloth sim do with it? I think my leg is broken now, right? So we have to be a little bit ginger. Oh no, did it get back? We have to be a little bit ginger with the cloth sim, but I think it adds a lot to this. If you want to see, if people want to see like the actual raw mocap data, we have my, uh, we have the move-in skeleton to the right, and we have the UE5 mannequin to the left here. Uh, and then we have our metahuman with a little cloth sim. I think this is going to be a kind of a fun visual and something to look at. Pretty cool, right? I was really impressed with metahuman animator and Move in Trace and then Move in Studio, combining those two together and getting those results in real time for live streaming, for VTubing. I mean, that's pretty awesome. My first impression of the overall animation quality when using the Move in system is that the locomotion feels especially solid. So when I'm walking around the space, walking towards the camera and away from it, because of the LiDAR sensor, that feels very, very accurate, almost as accurate as, say, like my optical Vicon system. On top of that, the major extremities, the arms, the forearms, and the legs feel very accurate and responsive when they're in view of the camera. Next, something that I was really impressed with is the foot sliding or the lack thereof. To my understanding, this has automatic foot slide detection built into it, and it's doing things like canceling out jitter and noise automatically all at 60 frames per second directly on the device. I was especially impressed that it could handle me sitting on the floor that is usually a very tough thing for mocap systems to solve, and it even survived me doing a six step, another challenging breakdancing move that not every motion capture system can handle. Let's talk about some of the limitations of the system that I noticed while working with this over the last couple of weeks, especially with metahumans. So as I'm using the system right now, which is very early, uh, there is no hand or finger track of nat tracking natively in the system. There are third-party mocap glove integrations 
they have been testing with some third-party gloves. I've seen the results, they look pretty good. But even more interesting to me is that in the future update, I've seen demos of them using the computer vision camera combined with the LiDAR sensor, and they were showing native finger and hand tracking. So I, I hope that feature is coming. It is really helpful with MetaHumans to have that built in. No one wants to animate hands or fingers, so you know, here's hoping that that feature is coming really, really soon. I've seen whispers and demos of it. It looks, it looks pretty good, but as of right now, again, no hand, no finger data. Next, if you're trying to track props like a gun or a sword or a box, like you maybe have seen with, with my Vicon system, Vicon does a great job with props. As of right now, moving, no props. So if you want to do props, you can use them, but they're not going to show up or be tracked by the system natively. Really, only optical systems can do uh, real, track, uh, real prop tracking. Finally, this system can only track one person as of now. However, if you look on the roadmap, they do say that they're going to add the ability to track two people. I know this is a future feature, maybe we shouldn't care about that too much, but I have seen demos of it, and if this feature comes in the future, that's going to be really fun to take this on location and be able to, to be able to record like two people like breakdance fighting or fighting fighting, anything like that with two people from one system, one camera. That's really awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. So let's talk about the price and a special promo they're running for the month of August. The Move and Trace it is their flagship hardware that has a really, really high-end LiDAR sensor in it that's targeting the professional motion capture industry. For the Move and Trace in hardware, that is $15,000. For the subscription to their unlimited plan for Move in Studio, their software, that is $500 a month. Now again, if you're an indie and you're really interested in getting your hands on this hardware and software, they're running a promotion for their launch from August 1st to August 31st that only has 200 spots, so you want to keep that in mind. Those are probably going to go pretty quickly. So for indies, during this launch window, the hardware is $5,000 and the subscription to the unlimited software is $250 a month for 12 months. Something to keep in mind, which is great, is that the software is able to be purchased in a month-to-month -month basis, meaning you can pay for a month and then cancel it and then pay for it a month if you're only using it intermittently and not for the entire year like an interactive installation might be doing. And when you cancel the unlimited plan, you're going to go back to the free starter plan. The starter plan is free and it's going to limit you to 30 minutes of recording a month it's going to disable streaming to Unreal Engine, and you're not going to be able to use some of the advanced upcoming features like finger tracking. Now, for solo artists, indie game developers, or just smaller companies where this is just a little bit out of your price range, keep an eye out for future announcements on a product they're working on that uses a more affordable LiDAR sensor and that has a software subscription plan that is targeted more towards indies and solo artists. Again, keep an eye out for that in the future. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, and I want to close with my final thoughts on this system. I own a Vicon system, so I'm used to and have extremely high quality tracking when I'm at my home studio and everything is perfectly controlled. But what really excites me about the move-in tracing and the move-in system overall is that it's portable and that I can track other people with it. So I've never brought anyone into my Vicon volume because I don't want them to wear my suits and I don't have other size suits, and it's sort of awkward sometimes to have another person in here and have them in a suit. I just have never done it. But what I like about this system is that I can just bring it on location, set it up, they don't need to wear a suit, they don't need anything, and I can work with other people really easily, right? So this thing's very portable, and it's easy to work with other people. So it's kind of this like cool like mocap collaboration device that's mobile for me. That's very different. So for example, I would love to see this system at Unreal Fest, the next Unreal Fest near the MetaHuman booth where they have life-size holographic boxes of MetaHumans that are being run in real time. I would love to use this as sort of, again, the interactive installation. And what I'm thinking for Unreal Fest this year is possibly teaching a workshop on how to create MetaHuman clothing. And then what I would love is to be able to have the system there as well. And at the end, we can have the students or workshop participants, whatever we're calling them, um, have them be able to puppet 
and record like a little animation in real time of the clothing they made. So Movin does have a Discord, and if you buy the software and are interested in using it with Unreal Engine, I'm on the Discord. I'd be happy to talk about really nitty gritty uh, Unreal Engine workflow stuff. And I'm going to be making videos, like I said in the video, on specifically retargeting Movin to the mannequin to metahumans. And then after that, I'm going to make a video kind of describing and showing my somewhat complicated live streaming setup with a Live Link Hub running on a laptop that streams it to my desktop and just getting all of this running for like a really high quality performance capture face and body setup for a metahuman. Again, I'm making a video on that. It's pretty exciting to me. Hopefully, if this system is a great fit for you that you've, you know, maybe pick one up. And even if it's not today, at least you now know that it's an option for a future project. Should you need a system like this, now at least you know that it exists. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll check you on the next one.